Sarah Winnie Mocha was born in 1844. She was an active speaker, writer, and interpreter. During the Bannock War, Sarah helped the U.S. troops, but her tribe was encroached by European settlers, taking over all their land and food because of the richness the land held. Even those who participated in the war were still forced to move to Pyramid Lake, Yakima, Washington, and Oregon because of their cultural differences. After the Bannock War, her tribe was forced to move to Yakima, Washington, where many diseases were contracted, killing hundreds of people. They had no food to hunt or supplies, causing them to be mentally and physically in pain and hopeless of going back to Great Basin in Nevada. Sarah rose from this neglection by doing speeches and lecturing to army officers in newspapers, interviews to government officials, even did speeches on the East Coast. She never gave up on trying to bring her tribe back to their home in Nevada. She was their hope and voice when all was gone. She risked her reputation of people's views of her because of how involved she was, and a common female would not have spoken up and shown leadership. She made over 400 speeches highlighting the suffering they went through. Sarah heroically advocated for Native American rights. She was a scout in the U.S. Army, so she could raise money for her tribe. She also wrote a book about the suffering they went through which is called Life Among the Paiutes, Their Wrongs and Claims, which elaborates on her advocating for their rights and the tremendous suffering the tribe went through. She was able to get enough money to make a school for less fortunate Native Americans. She taught them English skills like reading and writing. She promised a future of happiness. Throughout her life, she tried to create an understanding of her culture so they could be accepted and understood. She sadly died of tuberculosis in 1891. She is known for spending her whole life fighting for the Paiute tribe's rights.